Nowadays, electronics is being used everywhere. Whether we talk about industrial products or consumer electronics, you will see that electronic products are getting space in all these areas. In the course on electronics maintenance, we give inputs related to electronics. We start from very basic. We start inputs on electronics maintenance from identification and testing of electronic components. Variety of electronic components are available in the market. We have these type of trainer boards using which identification and testing of electronic components can be done correctly. So all those active and passive type of components can be tested and measured using test and measuring instruments. The test and measuring instruments that we cover during this training program includes the digital multimeter, uh, LCR meter, which can measure inductance, capacitance and resistance of the components connected. Then we have DSOs, digital storage oscilloscopes, using which we can visualize the analog as well as digital signals. We have function generators as well as signal generators using which variety of signals can be generated and it can be injected to electronic circuits. Apart from this equipment, we are using IC testers also because nowadays, instead of discrete electronic components, ICs are being used in electronic circuits. So all those integrated circuits can be tested, whether it is analog type or digital type, using these type of IC tester. Apart from trainer boards, we use actual discrete electronic components also. All these components can be connected to these test and measuring instruments and we can check the status of the components. That is whether it is faulty or if it is working properly. Basically, a printed circuit board is something like this in which all these discrete components are mounted using soldering technique. So after testing of components, we ask our participants to assemble these components on a printed circuit board. This is a circuit made by our own students. And in order to do testing and troubleshooting, we make them to assemble the circuits on breadboard also. Once they assemble the circuit on the breadboard, it can be given input signals and those signals can be clearly monitored on an equipment called digital storage oscilloscope. We have these type of breadboards on which students assemble the circuit. After assembling the circuit, signals are in use from function generators to the circuit and the outputs can be connected to the digital storage oscilloscope on which we can clearly see the signals. Apart from giving inputs on actual component testing and its assembly, we provide inputs using software also. The software that is used is called Circuit Maker. This is the software in which we can design and develop variety of electronic circuits. And this is the front, the yeah, main screen of the software. Using this software, we can do or make an electronic circuit and then see its simulation also. Here, I am opening an existing circuit. This is a circuit of half-wave rectifier. Here you can see this is a circuit in which we are using a signal generator a diode and a resistor. So input will be a full sine wave AC signal and the output will be half wave rectified waveform. So now if I want to see the simulation of the software, I will simply run this signal and can see the output waveform. This is the screen on which I will get the output of the circuitry. I'm just resizing it so that we can see the waveform clearly. Now if I am using this probe here, I will get a sine wave signal. You can see there is a green signal. This shows the signal that is available at this point. This is a complete sine wave of 10 volts peak to peak. And on the output side, we will get a rectified waveform. So here you can see, the waveform, the negative cycle is gone, we are getting only the positive cycle. So this way, any circuit, if you want to see both the signals, input as well as output, that is also possible. So here I am clicking on both and then see the waveform. So here we can see that the green signal is the input and the yellow signal 
that you are getting a yellow waveform is the waveform. So this way we can design, develop any electronic circuit and can see its simulation also.